Welcome to the Shimmy Show. Roasting sessions number two has begun. Still on the BCAA powder, Mutant 9.7, people. It's going to be a long episode, but give it a drink. I don't usually do coffee, by the way. This is a double shot of espresso to go with my shaker drink. It's going to be a long fucking roast. Got a few left. Oh boy. Go get a drink. Don't just watch me. Shit. I'm going live like a cam girl. I'm doing it all. No second takes. As soon as I figure out how to do that live shit, I'll do that too. Fucker. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to happen, right? See, that's why we do these lanes live. Hold on a motherfucking minute. Let me clean up the phone. See, I'm human. I make mistakes. That's the whole point of doing shit online. For not doing uh, extra takes. Let me go wash my hands real quick and wipe this up. Hold up. I'm going to drink it too, still, you know. Damn, it's good. Ah. Got to drink the whole thing in one sitting, you know? All right. Go get your own drink. Right back. Laundry day. Okay. <sighs> Didn't even check the mirror. Am I shiny? Am I greasy? Don't know. All right. That is enough of the... Uh... I was actually playing with that beat. That's uh, credits to Inner Circle, the old bad boys theme from the... Uh... The cop show on Fox in the fucking 80s or 90s. Am I in the fucking frame? I gotta adjust my chair again. Pneumatic. Go down, down. Motherfuck. Uh, excuse me. Almost ready, people. Tune up with the Yadom. My Thailand inhaler. Ah, some good shit. Alright. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the motherfucking Shimmy Show. 
Shimmy here, Shimmy Triple X, Shimmy McBeb, the one and only uh, webmaster, internet actor, author, motherfucking spammer. I'm that nigga. Hello, welcome to my show. This is another roasting session and just also just another show where I'm going to talk about random things too, but I need to do another roasting session. That's like, for those of you that don't know, internet roast is like an extended, extended motherfucking, I'm just going to talk till I don't feel like talking no more. You know, it's like, I have a thing about when I'm fucked with in the outside world, online, offline, whatever, generally offline, you know, online people are just motherfucking trolls and shit, but I mean... Uh, people that I've had interactions with in the real world who actually take time and energy out of their own life to fuck with me, this is why I'm roasting you here, you know, because I don't have, either I don't have the ability to see you in person, I'm in motherfucking Thailand right now, if you guys can't tell, look out the motherfucking window, you know, can you guys see that shit or not, I don't know, I'm up in a high motherfucking condo overlooking the motherfucking trees and shit, so... Believe me, if I was back in America or Canada or whatever, you know, I'd see you in the motherfucking streets. Believe me. You know, you're dealing with a nigger that has no fear or whatever. Don't fear no man, woman, bitch, child, whatever. Okay? But this is the roast. So, it's just shit that's on my mind that I want to talk about. Um, and it is what it is. You guys can watch this show or not. I'm just giving you guys the prequel. So if you don't feel like watching me talk about people or issues that concern me, go to another channel, hit the back button, put the X button in the top right corner or whatever, and uh, you don't have to listen to me run my mouth. But I'm going to listen to my own show and watch my own show because I like watching me. So this is the Shimmy Show. So today's topic of the roast, let's see. I didn't even uh, spill out on the notepad here, but I have enough time and enough fucking, uh, well, I probably did. You know, the, I got a motherfucking notepad like Pablo Escobar in that fucking uh, novella. <laughs> but what will I choose to discuss today with my time of my finite life before I go out into the outside world and go to the uh, massage place or whatever again? I, I bought some more shades. And they were two pairs for a hundred baht. I got a pair for a friend. So this replaces my old Dorian A. Peters shades, the quote-unquote district attorney from California, bar ID number 261863, quote-unquote on Twitter, don't mess with me because I know how to shoot, amongst other stupid shit. You know, I got some motherfucking, I don't know what, what they call these things, chroma flare or whatever, that rainbow DuPont UV film shit or whatever. But uh, yeah, I got some more shades. Um, as much shit as I talk about cars, I got a Porsche shirt. <laughs> Whatever. So this this is um this is actually going to be my first half of the show. Where right now I'm going to talk about car shit. Actually, surprisingly, I'm going to get to people next. But for right now, I'm talking about cars and in particular racing. Um, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Let's talk about racing before I roast. How about that? It's my show. I'm going to do it. I want to do it in this order actually. So check this out, peoples. Um, for those of you who don't know me, Shimmy, I was born in California. The, the Bay Area or whatever, um, same city as Spice One, you know, 187, dumping them up in ditches and shit or whatever. And I went to a high school. I went to a couple of high schools, and one of them was a, a rather, I had a an interesting experience at this one um, high school, San Leandro High School, right? Uh, for the tenth grade, I went there only for a year. And I had, I had this, like, I would like to say a racist, um, one of many racist motherfuckers in San Leandro, but it's like I had this, this one particular auto mechanics tea shop teacher. He was an Italian guy, big fat Italian guy. Um, I hope he's still alive or whatever, but I mean, he was pretty old back when I was in school or whatever. And this was over 20 years ago, right? And, uh. In his class, you know, I, I remember I didn't pass. Well, I got a D in auto mechanics. Can you believe that? Shimmy the racer guy got a fucking D. But uh, the the um, we were doing shit like rebuilding carburetors and shit, like old old technology stuff that's not even applicable today in most cases or whatever. But um, 
a lot of the guys' quotes stuck with me, right? I remember I'm young, impressionable, 15 years old. And uh, the professor he had bought, this was the year 1993 or 94, right? The professor had a new uh, teacher, had a Mazda Miata, first generation M1 when they first came out, right? And he would, you know, he'd bring it, put it up on the lift or whatever in the uh, shop or whatever, and just do a little basic shit. You know, we changed the oil on it and whatever. And I thought, I thought that Mazda Miatas were like the coolest fucking car ever. And I still kind of think they are. You know, it's one of the cars that I raced rather, uh, rather successfully. You know, in SCCA and uh, NASA, fucking um, MSCC. I, I, you know, I actually am. I will. I was and still am in about what is it, five, at least five sanctioned racing car clubs. You know, professional, professional and amateur or whatever. There's uh. I'd have to go through the list or whatever. But if you just go on Google and search for me, either actually, if you search for my shortened name, Shim, Shim McBev, whatever, you'll see all my old race results or whatever, you know. So I'm in CFR, SCCA, SFR, SCCA, Solo 1, Solo 2, NASA, IMSA, MSCC, Martin Sports Car Club, uh, Track Speed slash Chin Motorsports, NSX Club of Florida, um, do some shit with the Porsche Club, uh, tracks. I've, I've driven fucking Sebring, motherfucking uh, Sears Point, which they renamed to Infineon. You know, I've done autocrosses all over, Solo 1, Solo 2. Um, I've been fucking, fucking, what is, what's the other track in Miami? Fucking, um, uh, fucking Homestead. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had a lot of motherfucking race cars in my life at a, at a younger age. I haven't gotten into it in a, quite some time, but um, ever since I was, I believe, 17, I started racing Volkswagens, and I moved up to Mazda Miatas, BMWs, and such, and uh, Miata was like my car, okay? I mean, I've had a couple of them. I believe I've had one, two, three. If I'm counting correctly, I've had four or five of them. Miatas or whatever. I've had, as far as Volkswagens, I've had like fucking at least fifty of the motherfuckers, or whatever. But um, I I mostly raced Mazda Miatas and Volkswagen Rabbits. You know that that was my shit or that was my cars that I won the most races and shit with, right? So anyway, this goes back to my high school, tenth grade or whatever. The teacher had a Mazda Miata, and I thought that it was the coolest shit ever. And I was like, you know, when, when I get money, when I get older, I'm going to get me a little Miata. Now, even though the teacher was this big, fat, portly Italian guy, like at least 300 motherfucking pounds, he probably barely fit in the fucking narrow tunnel of a Miata. And for those of you that don't know, a Miata has a very tiny, uh, what do you want to call it, cockpit or interior. You know what I'm saying? Um, but either way, it's, it's a very good, the cars were bolted together well. Um, I don't know if they still are, but the first generation, they've lasted they're still good. They're still a good, highly competitive car. Okay, so thumbs up to Mazda Miatas. Maybe I'll buy some more. They they made them well. Rear wheel drive, lightweight, small, compact, power plant frame, whatever is quote unquote. So like, uh, Miata enthusiasts have this thing. I don't know what the Japanese word is called. I'd have to look it up on like Miata.net, but they would say the the rider and horse are one or some shit. So one thing that made the cars unique is that there was this thing they called, Mazda called a power plant frame, a PPF. Basically, uh, it was like some kind of metallic web looking, like a metal web that kind of connected the fucking motor to the transmission to the frame. So literally, like, m most cars don't have this shit. Like, the car was like, built like a race car, it's, just, it's balanced perfectly and shit, like the spare tire was like set in the back right corner to balance the driver's weight and batteries re relocated to the trunk, all kinds of race car shit like that, right? So it was like very well engineered piece of machinery, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, long story short, okay, this is where I'm getting to with the rant or whatever. My high school uh, auto shop teacher told me, I told him, I told him, I raised my hand, I was like, you know what, I want to be a race car driver or whatever. I'm 15 years old. I told him this or whatever, right? And he told me, he actually told me, he said, racing, he's, he didn't call me Shim. He probably didn't care what my name was. You know, only black kid in the class. He said, racing is a rich white man's sport, right? I'm young and impressionable at age 15, and there's some truth, a little bit of truth to this statement, right? 
But his words stuck with me at such a young age that I was like, like he kind of like crushed my dreams when he said that at age 15, right? Because I had nobody else to like counteract all this shit, right? There was no internet. There were no like prodigy or real. I didn't have a computer or whatever. But I mean, it's like when somebody tells you some shit when you're a teenager and they're like an adult in a position of authority, you tend to take that as like the gospel, right? So the shit made me so upset and angry that I was like at age 15. And by the time I turned 17, 18, I was like, fuck that. I'm buying a Miata. I'm going to be a race car driver. And, you know, I'm going to autocross, run all the tracks. And I did. And I was actually quite successful at it. I got a whole motherfucking wall-to-wall trophies and shit in my old house and whatever that I've, you know, gotten rid of since and whatever. But, um, you know, the guy's words stuck with me. Racing is a rich white man's sport. I was like, well, it could be a rich black man's sport, too, or a rich black slash Ethiopian guy's sport too, you know, it's cars a motherfucking car, right? But that's what, that's, that's that fucking California racism or whatever from this particular fellow, you know, not all people think like this or whatever. In this day and age, you know, a motherfucking teacher could never go and say some shit like that and get away with it, I'm sure. But that, that, that was the, um, that was the 1990s and shit, the early nineties or whatever, you know, that was just, a, a fucked up town, you know what I'm saying? A racist town, San Leandro, California. Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yo, yeah, I bring this up. Sawadee so Kai and all that shit here in Thailand. Uh, because, you know, it is it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I might get back into racing. I probably will. You know, it's like racing is a bug that bites you. It never goes away. Although I'm a 5K, 10K runner and all that shit, I'll probably start tuning race cars and doing all that bullshit again. But, um... Yeah, man, I, I love race car driving. I just don't like driving on the street. So, yeah, man, uh, you guys that fucking care to stalk me and all that shit, look me up. Just Google Shim instead of Shimmy, Shimmy. It's Shim McBeth, my name, legal name, a shortened version of my name, truncated version, and you'll see all my old race results, whatever, since a lot of motherfuckers think I'd be, like, bullshitting and shit. You're not no race car driver. Nigga, nigga, you ain't no race car driver. You ain't, you don't fuck no porn stars. You ain't got no movies. Nigga, you ain't in motherfucking Thailand. You ain't got all these bitches and this and that and the other. And I'd be like, God damn. The world is full of motherfucking haters. Y'all don't believe that niggers can do shit. Y'all don't think that I'm capable of nothing, huh? You don't think I, you don't think I'm a webman? You don't think I can write books? You don't think I have like a fucking Just because you can't do something, don't think that I can't do it or at least attempt it and be somewhat marginally successful at it. That's what really gets me and that's why I'm starting to starting to roast with that topic or whatever because it's, it's it was a good intro to um to branch off to, you know? I'm going to go read through my comments and some of my emails shortly or whatever. Once I, uh, you know, I might as well finish this little coffee up and have a little more powder. Fuck it. Fuck it. Why? Hey, man. Y'all can watch me. You want to motherfucking stalk me like the OJJDP, ICAC, and Dorian A. Peters and all that bullshit. Fuck it. Motherfuckers can watch me drink motherfucking protein powder, steroids, and shit. And get six-pack abs and uh, do everything. Like I said on the Sit Up Guy channel, you niggas can watch me do sit-ups for all I fucking care. You're going to find out how much shimmy cash care about y'all. <laughs> you think this nigga here cares? This motherfucking mop-head-ass, popple looking nigga drinking coffee in Thailand at 11 o'clock in the morning. Fucking slanging porn on the internet, uploading videos and shit. Well, you motherfuckers are probably sitting in traffic jams or arguing with your ugly ass spouse or counting motherfucking pennies and nickels and shit on the table while you watch me. You're going to find out how much I care. For a nigga that drinks out of a motherfucking 99 cent cup with Disney cartoons on it because he's too cheap to buy a motherfucking shaker cup. You're going to learn today. I mean, that's the topic of my show and my roast. Y'all gonna find out how many shits did Shimmy Cash, Mr. Shimmy Triple X, Shimmy Shimmelise Macbeth gives about the motherfucking outside world real soon. By the way, this here is called, um, this is called Sticky Rice. I got it from the night, it's all around Thailand, 10 baht, like a fucking, what is that, 22 cents or something for a whole pack of it. I got this thing where, um, uh, huh. 
I usually serve it with mango. I shouldn't be drinking the coffee, I know, but... The motherfucking dentist... I got a good dentist here in town. My teeth are whiter, if y'all can't tell. I got a good cleaning, air scaling, whitening, and all that shit. They told me to just have, like, white rice, banana smoothies, and basically non-colored beverages and food for a couple days. It's been a couple days, so I can have a little coffee now, I guess. But I've been on the white on rice thing or whatever, you know, lately. So, yeah, man, life's been good. Y'all make sure you can follow me on Twitter, Shimmy Triple X, and uh, that's Shimmy, S H I M M Y X X X, motherfucker. Or Instagram, Shimmy Smegbeb. There's a link in the description because my name is really long and hard to spell. Look at how beautiful Thailand looks compared to uh, pretty much anywhere. Beautiful beaches, just beautiful shit. I just went to the island the other day and, uh, you know, just. Some, it's a beautiful country here. Great food, friendly people, etc., etc. So, yeah. So, yeah, man. Hmm. Take your eyes. Racing is a rich white man sport. I'll be goddamned. So, let me start off by giving a few shout outs. Um, don't want you guys to think that I'm like racist or some shit like that. Um, I had two very good racing instructors, um, back in the day. I'm talking like about over 20 years ago. These guys are actually professionals now. One of my favorite guys, uh, who learned me was, uh, the guy in Cali name, Bob Stretch. That's him. Bob Stretch. He actually, I think he owned a tire shop or something in the Bay Area in fucking Marin or some shit. He was my instructor. Had a, I learned on his BMW M3 and I had another instructor in Florida, He's also professional now, um, races for Mazda, Gerardo Bonilla, you know. I learned from the best, motherfuckers. I dumped a lot of money into race cars and racing and driving lessons and instruction and this and that. And uh, like with anything, the only way to master something, like on a real true elite professional level, is to learn from another motherfucker that's already there and above the level you want to get at, right? So... You know, don't think that because you got a motherfucking Honda Civic with a motherfucking fart can muffler on it that you're a racer boy now. You don't know the, nigga, you don't know the first motherfucking science or things about the physics of the shit, basically. So, for all you aspiring uh, race car guys or whatever, it'll make more sense to fucking invest money in driving lessons. Racing lessons, professional shit. This costs not much, but I mean a couple hundred bucks or whatever, you know, per lesson or some shit like that. Fence, figure a thousand dollars or some shit for each instructor or some shit. So that you actually have seat time and classroom time with an instructor, you know. So a lot of these guys, like Gerardo, he taught for the Skip Barber Racing School down at Sebring or whatever. The other guy taught at uh, Sears Point, Infineon, whatever the fuck they changed their track name to. People are always buying and selling racetracks and changing the names and sponsorships and shit like that. You know, fuck with some people in the Porsche club and shit like that. And uh, that's how I learned to become such a, I don't even want to say it. I, I might as well say I was a pretty damn good race car driver um, until I quit the sport about four or five years into getting into it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So it was just one of my hobbies and now I'm back into running and et cetera, et cetera. But I'll probably get back into the shit. So yeah, man, um, racing is not just a rich white man's sport. It's not even really necessarily a rich man's sport. Money helps, but I mean, there was a lot of rich motherfuckers with much more expensive $100,000 motherfucking cars, more so than me, that did not have lessons or instructions or good teachers, and I would be lapping those motherfuckers just like it ain't nothing, like I got a million fucking horsepower and shit. So I mean... It really is what it is, but there's no substitute and no replacement for having a good, like, master teacher, master instructor, or whatever. That's why I played the little Wu-Tang Clan clip or whatever earlier, whatever. So anyway, yeah, um, I'm not a total, I'm not a total motherfucking car hater. I just don't tend to like, I don't like structured, I don't like the structure of sitting in traffic jams. I don't like speed limits, fucking 
signs and shit telling me what to do or whatever. You don't know the physics or whatever the fuck my level of proficiency or whatever is, et cetera. So, you know, but America is, is a country full of uh, motherfucking people that think they're motherfucking hot dog drivers and shit. And, you know, it's just tragic that so many people lose their lives on the highways and roads every day for lack of not just for just not having experience of how physics operates, I guess, you know, weight transfer and shit like that. Like, I think that United States of America is like one of the easiest countries to get licensed in. I mean, you get people from motherfucking Germany and shit like that or whatever and Russia, they have to take like. Their driving test is like a commercial driving test for America, like for big rigs and shit, which I'm also a class A driver and all that shit. But it's like, um, yeah, um, I'm kind of, you know, I almost feel like I need to put a motherfucking roll. I actually had roll cages in my street cars in America. You know, I'd be like, man, I, drivers scare the shit out of me, man. You motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn. So, uh, yeah, cars are some shit. Just, I don't feel that safe on the road in America with most motherfuckers on. I mean, they, yeah, can't trust it like public enemy. Okay, so enough about cars, whatever, and all that shit for now. On to some roasting shit. On to some roasting shit. Um, let's go to the YouTube comments. Yeah. Open this fucking monitor up here. <sighs> you guys can just fucking look at my googly eyes for a minute while I check my email. See what niggas are talking about. Let's bring back that little inner circle beat and play that back. I'm going to start freestyling on this shit soon. I, I like it. Checking the email. Checking the email. Checking the mail. Shimmy Cash checking that mail. Really? Oh my lord. Pause, pause, hold on. Okay, hold on. I gotta hit the brakes here. Reading the email right now. <sighs> Boy, motherfuckers. You know, why y'all going? Too early in the morning for this shit. <sighs> Fuckers. A lot of judgmental motherfuckers in my inbox, you know? A lot of judgmental motherfuckers. I'm gonna go. Th I'm gonna go through these one at a time. I got a couple emails I'm sifting through here right now. I'm gonna go through this one at a time. Here, all right. I'm not reading them out loud. I'm not saying no names yet because motherfucking roasting and all this shit. Now, I'm reading an email here. It says something about safe sex. S. I'm reading quote unquote safe sex. S. T. D. H. I. V. Chlamydia. How sexually transmitted diseases are transmitted via kissing saliva, not using condoms. You will get trillions of likes. Bless your haters. Don't respond. Silence is peace. What the fuck? All right. Too, way too early. In, it's 11 o'clock in the morning here. I don't know what time it is in America. Um, who the fuck, okay, <sighs> okay, here we go, this is, this is about porn I'm talking about here, I'm talking about my life, um, <laughs> first of all, I do not do this fucking broadcast show for likes. I don't care if I get a trillion likes or dislikes, or I don't care if this motherfucking channel gets banned in two minutes. I don't care if it gets taken offline, nuked. 
it ain't like it be the first time. Care what you niggas think. I got the shit saved on my computer. This, these are my files for me, motherfuckers. Don't you guys get it? I am not doing this for you. This is for me. I like to watch myself talk. Go ahead and thumbs down me right motherfucking now. Just end it. Put your take this show offline fucking now, nigga. What are you waiting for? Or upvote it and send it to the motherfucking stratosphere. I don't care one way or the other. This shit does not pay me, motherfucker. I make my money on the other motherfucking channels. Don't you niggas get that? God damn. Too early in the morning for this shit here, you know? You think I need you... It <laughs> Ignorant ass YouTube motherfuckers. Do you think that I need you people to get paid? Do you think that motherfucking this channel, this particular channel is only a motherfucking month old? I was getting money and still am getting money and will get money after this motherfucker implodes. God damn, man. You know, it's what. <laughs> think I do this shit for fucking likes. Nigga, I don't even have a Facebook. I don't even. <laughs> Don't get me twisted with all the other motherfucking YouTubers on here talking about, oh, give me a dollar for my Patreon and whatever. This is a motherfucking non-profit show here. Huh? No, but for one, this is a, I'm also doing this to prove a point. Nobody cares what actors think, and nobody cares what porn stars think, and nobody really truly cares what black men think. That's why I'm doing this motherfucking show right now, to prove a motherfucking point. There's probably only goddamn 10, 20 motherfuckers that watch this shit. You know, and I don't care. I'm not doing it for y'all. I'm doing it for me, obviously. Shit. Hmm? Huh? Now, what's all this bullshit about HIV, chlamydia, STDs, and... Why do you care? I don't have any of this shit. I go to fucking TTS, talent testing service, motherfuckers. I've had more STD tests than like 99% of you niggers who ever watch this shit. As with everyone else in the porn industry, all porn stars get tested while they're actively working every 30 motherfucking days for fucking everything. My test results are motherfucking public. Go look me up. I don't give a goddamn. I ain't got no motherfucking shit to hide. This ain't no HIPAA. I'm talent ID number 51862 on talenttestingservice.com. Shimmy Cash. Look me up, motherfucker. Okay? Start talking about my goddamn motherfucking... You got S STD, chlamydia, HIV, safe sex, saliva, condoms, diseases. Motherfuck, what kind of health problems do you people have? Hmm? Are you on like a whole motherfucking grocery store paper paper bag sack of motherfucking pills for your goddamn high blood pressure, thyroid, diabetes, sickle cell anemia, motherfucking uh what's the shit the Jews got? Tay Sachs and uh I don't know what kind of pills you niggas are on. All I got in my motherfucking bathroom is some motherfucking biotin and collagen vitamins, so I have nice skin. You know what I'm saying? And my goddamn BCAA powder for my fucking six-pack abs and shit that I like to show off and shit for the hoes and whatever and whatever. But I mean, like, I invest my money in, I don't have no motherfucking diseases or sicknesses or shit. What's with this shit that people think that sex workers are dirty? Male or female, whatever. You know, there, there, there's actually a lot of people talking shit like, uh... Oh, those, those girls, are, they dirty and they got the motherfucking AIDS and all the porn star girls, them hoes, quote unquote hoes are so, they gonna get this, that, and the other. And I'm like, sex workers are among the most hygienic and clean people on the motherfucking planet as far as sex goes and health goes and all that shit. If a girl's pussy is fucking stank or rotten or diseased or some shit, she ain't gonna make no motherfucking money, right? Same with me. Think about it, motherfuckers. God damn. I be hearing niggas talking this shit just all off the off the cusp. When in reality, they need to be checking themselves before they wreck themselves. You know what I'm saying? I got my lab test. I get my blood drawn and I pee in the motherfucking cup every motherfucking 29, 30 days at the motherfucking lab. And it's expensive as fuck. 
It's over two hundred dollars every time I go there, nigga. But you can look me up on my history. Look me up, nigga. Five one eight six two. Send me cash. Think I'm bullshitting? I ain't got nothing to hide, you know. I'll be wondering about all these other ass motherfucking niggers and bitches and just motherfucking shit talkers on the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'm clean. I value my health, nigga. I work out. I take vitamins, powder, and steroids and shit. Like they say, I don't use steroids. Steroids use me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like, goddamn, niggas are so goddamn ignorant that they want to think that the girls that sell pussy are dirty or they got this and they got that and that. What about me? Oh, black people, black man, he got all these kind of, what the fuck's wrong with you people? I'm healthy. I don't know about y'all. When's the last time you had a lab test at a real lab with a real nurse and a real motherfucking doctor? Huh? I'm not talking about this bullshit ass shit you get at the motherfucking free clinic county or whatever. I mean the real full panel lab tests to test you for everything, nigga. It gives you printouts and motherfucking blood hemoglobin and all kinds of bullshit that you probably don't even care about. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuck you people. Talking that shit. Talking all reckless. That's just hate. That's just hate, envy, and jealousy, nigga. I get pussy, yes. And I'm clean. So what fuck what? You can watch my movies. I fuck thousands. In the thousands, nigga. Thousands of women. I have no STDs, okay? I don't know about y'all. Probably the fucking, uh, most niggas got some bitch with some rotten ass pussy. Most, actually, most of the people, from my experience, most girls that talk that shit about, oh, you clean, dirty, whatever, they, they're the ones that got the problem. They're the ones that got some rotten pussy or some goddamn motherfucking, uh, what they call that shit? UTI, urinary tract infection, or pussy so motherfucking diabetic and rotten they got motherfucking cauliflower and shit coming out of it. And, you know, <laughs> you scratch, scratch that shit. And I've seen it all, nigga. I've had girlfriends, been married. I've seen it all. I've seen rotten pussy. I know what it smells like. I know what it looks like. And I know what unhealthy people look like. Porno people do not look like that. Why? We're on motherfucking camera. You know, I ain't got no bumps and lumps all over my goddamn dick, and I don't fuck bitches that have bumps and shit all over their pussy, pussy that smell rotten, pussy that got bad pH, bad odor, and all that shit. The fuck's wrong with you people? That's just jealousy, nigga. Y'all just jealous that I'm getting pussy? God damn. See, I didn't, you know, the length that some people go to hate amazes me, and the length that they think that I'm not intelligent enough. It bewilders me or whatever, you know. If I'm intelligent enough to be entrepreneurial and be 30,000 miles away from America and get paid while I sleep and do all this shit, I've traveled to over 20 countries, you know, lived in a couple, got visas everywhere and shit, you know what I'm saying? Most motherfuckers ain't left a goddamn zip code and you're judging me? You're prejudging my life choices? This isn't the only email either. You know what I'm saying this is this is not the only email I've got. This, this is a frequent this is a frequent thing. That's why I'm bringing it up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm clean, motherfuckers. I right? the girls are clean. I fucks with clean, healthy people. Maybe you shouldn't fuck with sick people. You might be a sick person yourself. If you're talking about me, look in the fucking mirror. Are you overweight? What is your blood pressure? Mine is in the double digits. I don't have 120 over 80. My BP is in the fucking 90s. It's low. I have a low resting pulse and a low blood pressure. I'm healthy, motherfuckers. What about you? Mm-mm. What about, uh, since I'm in the topic of roasting Dorian A. Peters forever, motherfucking California bar ID number 261863 with eczema. What about your skin, nigga? You know, you got skin that motherfucking peels off when you scrape it. You know, all crusty like a motherfucking dinosaur and shit. <laughs> Can't help but take jabs at this stupid motherfucker. He's on, he's got, you know what? He's coming up on the roast later today. I, know, I got time, fuck it. What are we at here, 39 minute mark? I got plenty of time to talk about this nigga today. Fuck that shit, because you offended me, and you fucked up. O-J-J-D-P-I-C-A-C -C in Indian country, you done fucked up. Like a motherfucking Ford pickup truck. Shit.
<laughs> Niggas are gonna learn, boy. Get some more of the sticky rice here. Alright, let me go through some more of these emails here. Alright. So that's my little mini, mini rant about the health of sex workers and shit. Don't worry about me, nigga. Matter of fact, I'm gonna probably go to the massage place and go get me motherfucking two, three bitches today just to spite y'all. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Life is good, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. So what else is going on here? Going back to the inbox here. Let's play some more of that Wu-Tang shit while I look it up. Mr. Your chest box and Wu Tang. Do you think your Wu Tang sword can defeat me? Really? This is Wu-Tang Kung Fu movie shit, if you guys don't know. <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan is awesome. Okay, that was uh, some of the Wu-Tang Clan movies. Like, I like watching kung fu movie shit here in Asia on YouTube. All right, so this is uh, – I'm reading YouTube. I'm out of the inbox here. I'm reading YouTube comments now on some one of my old videos here that was up last week. Uh, d just real quickly, this, is, uh, this one stuck out to me. I thought it was a Filipino guy, but it's a Russian guy. I did a video – what is this video? I'm on the rooftop. It's called ABC Hotel, Angeles City, Philippines. Okay, I was in the Philippines like two weeks ago, right? Just went there for the fuck of it or whatever. I don't really like the Philippines because they're, you know, from my experience, it's a pretty racist country. They don't really treat black people or dark-skinned people darker than them that well. I, I, I often would say the Philippines is like um, the white man is God there. The white man is God in the Philippines because it's like... Filipinos are Catholic. Unlike most other Asian nations that surround the Philippines or whatever, um, they speak English, they're Catholic, they're part Spanish, hence they have a lot of Spanish last names and whatever. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they're just very much like brainwashed or their brain's been hijacked or deprogrammed, very much like African Americans, you know, who are also motherfucking Christian, Baptist, English speaking, and... Uh, have pretty much lost all their fucking uh, West African roots and shit like that, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm, I've just been treated pretty like shit in the Philippines, right? So I didn't spend too much time there. 
So I did. I just did some. I I didn't spend no money there. I'm not going to spend fucking that much money in a place where motherfuckers don't really like me or whatever, right? So I went to one of the nicer pools and did a video on the rooftop, whatever. And there's this guy who was actually from Russia, of all motherfucking places, that started trolling me on the fucking channel, right? So not to give this nigga too much shine and time, but since he wants to be a motherfucking target, welcome to the Shemmy Show, nigga. <laughs> Show you how we do it in East Oakland, nigga. Step to the heat, get burned like mesquite. So this nigga starts talking shit a couple days ago, saying, um, he's writing on the comments here. His name's, can't read this. Danilo Dan Cow with a K. Okay, whatever. And you know, I got a real weird motherfucking name too, so I can't fucking uh, clown niggas' names or whatever. Just talk some shit. Nobody wants to see your ugly face. Yeah, 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 nigga. Um, so he writes back, yes, you have 85 million viewers on X videos, of course, but only 20 subscribers on YouTube. Ha, 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 ha. Tell your hero stories, some children which will believe you. Learn to speak English, motherfucker. <laughs> Here is nobody who disagrees but you. I'm from Russia, sir. Was two times in AC, sir. Angeli City, Philippines. No girlfriend, sir. And yes, sir, I want to spread my seed over at least 50 countries till I die, sir. Nice that you give yourself a thumbs up, sir. Ha, 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 ha. Is this, like, supposed to be funny? Or, like, is this, like, your version of Russian humor? God damn. The land of motherfucking brown and black boots. I'll be goddamn. Now, here in Thailand, there's a lot of there's a lot of Russians. I'm friends with Russians, actually, in the building here. And I like Russians because Russian girls, they love black men. Like, they love them. Love them like Hershey's chocolate bars. Love them. So while your dumb ass is in the Philippines or even here in Thailand trying to fuck with little Thai girls and shit like that, you know, yeah. Svetlana be, be on them nigger dicks, dude. Believe it. And if you don't believe me, go talk to them. Go look at my Insta, fucking, uh, that shit, Instagram and shit like that, nigga. They, they love black men. They tell me they love black men because there's not that many black men in Russia. And you motherfuckers are always out on the beach here. Laying out like motherfucking starfishes when it's a motherfucking 105 degrees outside because you're like white as my shirt. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not clowning you niggas. It's cool. I ain't got nothing against Russians. I've actually done a lot of videos with Russian girls. Um, go look up one of my favorites, Tatiana Petrova. You know, we shot a lot of shit in Miami or whatever. A lot of like student teacher shit. Um, shit, man. I'd be dead like motherfucking. Actually. I've done at least seven movies with her, Tatiana Petrova. Go just go Google her and Google me or whatever. And I think I went, I either went by Shemmy Cash or I didn't go by Shemmy Triple X back then. I went just by the name Shemmy Cash. But look, look up, look up her shit. You're gonna see me fuck some Russian girls or whatever, you know, Ukrainians and all that other shit. Um, apparently, this nigger does not believe that I'm a motherfucking actor and I have 85 million motherfucking viewers. I have 80, um, this is some other shit called X videos, some porno shit that I can't really show on YouTube or whatever, but it's like, yeah, I do only have 20 subscribers on YouTube, sir, because nobody cares what niggers think, sir. They only want to watch niggers bounce basketballs and fuck white women, sir, because it's a racist world we live in, sir. Isn't that some shit? This is what I keep iterating all my point to prove how fucking racist and whatever the world is. Nobody cares what niggers think. Nobody cares what I think. Only 10 or 20 motherfuckers are going to watch this broadcast right now. And that's probably because they know me, or they hate me, or they're stalking me, or they're part of the motherfucking OJJDP, ICAC, and Indian Country Task Force, or Dorian A. Peters, California Bar ID number 261863. That's who watches this channel, nigga. And you're dumbass. Why do you care what I think is a better question? Are you a homosexual? I know Russians hate homosexuals, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's like the number one insult here in Thailand is actually for Russians, because Russians are like super homophobic, like super. Like they're offended if even a lady boy says hello to them here. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've seen, I have seen motherfucking Street Fighter 2 style street fights between Russians and lady boys here in Thailand, because Russians are so fucking homophobic that they're like, just no, just no, get away from me, you're diseased or some shit like that. They're very, they're not a very, um, what's that shit called in America? They could, they called it, um, 
I don't really go out that much in America. I'm not involved in their politics, but I, I've, I've heard on the news they call these new, this third gender, uh, transgender, that's what it is. That's what it is. Lady, they call them lady boys here in Thailand. But I mean, like that, that, that fucking run, Bruce Jenner runner guy, decathlon guy or whatever, that, that's like a woman or whatever now, okay? Um, you know, the Russians are not accepting of that shit or whatever, right? They're very anti-gay, very homophobic, whatever. So why are you watching me? Shouldn't you be watching like some girls or some black girls or some, as you say, you want to spread your seed in over 50 countries? Why don't you just go to motherfucking sperm banks, nigga? I mean, I did that too, but I mean, why don't you go do that if that's what your goal is? I mean, that's, that's one hell of a life goal. Just want to spread your seed. To put it that way, that's pretty blunt. Wow. Spread your seed. I mean, do, 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 all the, do all the Filipino girls in the Philippines know about this, sir? <laughs> You're just here to spread your seed? You don't care about the bitches or nothing. You just, you just, you just here to nut in them and fucking fly back to fucking Russia, huh? Man, that's some cold shit. But you know, the white man is God in Russia, so they probably treat this nigger Danilo pretty good there, right? More power to you, bro. I'm not going to the Philippines, so I'm not your motherfucking competition. Have fun. Hope those motherfucking Panay bitches love your ass. They, they like them little pink, white motherfucking dicks you guys got. <laughs> More power to you. More power, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you for that information, sir. <laughs> How to say in Russia? Nyet. Nyet. As motherfucking uh, on the game, uh, video game plays, what do they call that shit? Metal Gear Solid number one or number two. Uh, What's the motherfucking Russian on that game? Revolver Ocelot, the motherfucking Russian defector guy, says the fucking Liquid Snake, Mother Russia can rot for all I care. <laughs> Is that the kind of nigga you are, like fucking Revolver Ocelot? Salashaska! <laughs> you niggas are funny, dog. I like Russians, you know what I'm saying? It's, so it's pretty rare for me to get a motherfucking Russian troll. It's pretty... This nigga here, dog. <laughs> I got a little motherfucking internet pet that watches and stalks me in fucking Russia. That's awesome. Yeah, man. You go ahead and keep busting nuts in 50 countries, man. Now, see, these are, see, see what I was just saying about people in STDs? Porn stars, I'm clean, nigga. I got my lab tests or whatever and all this shit. What about this nigga here? You're busting nuts in over 50 countries. Did you get your lab work done? Did you test yourself for HIV, the HIV, chlamydia, AIDS, gonorrhea, saliva, and all this other shit I just read in the email? Why is it the world is not criticizing these kind of people? But you're going to criticize me, the clean man, with the motherfucking model release forms, 2257s, all the motherfucking paperwork in the world, lab tests, blood tests, piss tests, 1099 tax returns, just like Raina from Indian Girls, from the OJJDP, ICAC in Indian Country, and Dorian A. Peters, California Bar ID number 261863, quote-unquote Twitter. Don't mess with me, because I know how to shoot. What about these niggas here? Have you checked their lab results? What about their HIPAA? You know? Talk to them niggas, whatever. Look me up, nigga. You guys are gonna find out I'm the motherfucking truth one way or the other. Shit. Get some more of that y'all don't. God damn it. This is like a... They're in, Ty and Hillers, you know, they're like a two-part thing. You know what I'm saying, nigga? They got the oily part and the fucking dry and hairy part. Whatever. Ah. Siang Pure. I changed my brand to Siang Pure. I want the official shit. The red stripe, nigga. Yeah. So, yeah, apparently this nigga doesn't even believe that I'm the real deal. <laughs> you think that I don't have 85 million motherfucking viewers, nigga? I have more. It's growing by the day. This other sh That motherfucking other channel has over 40,000 subscribers. Over 40,000 subscribers that regularly watch my movies and jack off to me fucking bitches. Mostly white, blonde bitches. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, interracial porn is just like one of the highest, highest, highest search terms in the fucking world, right? And you got to realize it's not just Americans and Canadians that watch porn. America is only 5% of the world's population. That means all the motherfucking Arabs and shit in the Middle East and all the mo motherfuckers are watching me. Niggas in Japan are watching me. Mostly fuck white girls. They want to watch black guys fuck white girls. 
For those of you who don't know, I'll give you guys a little bit of insight into the porn industry. Or you can even prove this to yourself, nigga. Just go go to motherfucking Pornhub, RedTube, X Videos, any of these motherfucking big name video sites that are I don't really like them that much, you know what I'm saying? But I have channels and all these things or whatever, right? Um look at the top three or look at the top ten search terms or whatever, right? And then you will that will let you know what the sexual marketplace value, the so-called SMV is for whatever your particular ethnicity is, you know? Now, worldwide, worldwide, the entire globe, right? This is racist, but it's true. Just look up the numbers and the millions and billions of, like, whatever is searchable as far as the shit that people search for in Google Analytics or whatever. Do you know that the number one search term in the porno world is blonde? Blonde white girl. Yes. And it always has been. Okay. The number two search word or search term is big tits, right? And do you know what the number three search term most commonly searched for is? Interracial. Interracial means black man, white woman, by the way. That's what it means. It doesn't mean the other way around, typically, although it can. But typically, it means black man, white woman. Now, if you want to get the maximum maximum money for your dollar for if as a guy that shoots videos or whatever if i want to maximize my revenue i'm just going to book mostly white blonde big tit girls to fuck with interracial so i maximize the top three searches of the category it's quite simple actually so all the other projects that i have are just like the native american girls the dominican girls the, the fucking asian vietnamese fucking Everything else is like a motherfucking segue or some little, you know, it helps, but it's like nee, 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 nee. blonde white women and black men have the highest sexual marketplace value on the planet. Yes. I'm a motherfucking prize whether you guys like it or not. That's why 85 million motherfuckers look at me and my channel, nigga. Don't nobody search it for no goddamn Russian men. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody want to see your dumb white ass. Especially don't want to see your ass fuck. Do you get paid to fuck, nigga? Do you? How much did you get paid the last time you fucked a girl? How much did you get paid the last time you fucked a white girl or a Filipino girl? Or were you the one tricking out them pesos and dollars? Now, I fuck with that shit as a rec on a recreational level, right? But do you get money coming back to you for doing your hobby while you're spreading your seeds in 50 motherfucking countries? Are you getting paid like me? Are you? If you go make a motherfucking porno channel right now, nigga, how many people are going to watch it? Go try it. You, 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 you a bad motherfucker. I want to see. I want to see. I want you to do the experiment, nigga. I want you to invest your own money. I want you to go buy a nice, good can. Hold on, let me get my camera since we, we're on roasting motherfucking hour. I'm, I'm in the roasting mood now. Hold on, bring back the Wu-Tang while I fucking go get my motherfucking camera. We've been waiting here for you. All right, nigga. Turn that Wu-Tang off. Where you go? All right, motherfucker. I want you to buy a nice, big, expensive motherfucking camera like this. For work, of course. Just like that, nigga. And uh, I'm just being ignorant right now. Whatever. Showing off my gear. Go get yourself a nice, good Canon T5i. Okay? Go get a motherfucking ring light, some umbrella lights, whatever. Make sure you get your model releases and 2257s and 1099 forms for the tax IRS shit. All that bullshit so everything is legal. Just like Rhina on Indian Girls who gets fucking stalked by me in the OJJDPICAC in Indian country. So, you know, do you have a task? Do you have a federal task force on your ass, nigger? For filming Native American Indian girls with model releases who are 19 years old and all that kind of shit like me? Do you fuck industry porn stars from agencies? Huh? Do you? Or are you just some, like, anonymous, no-name Russian 
who can't even put a motherfucking profile picture of, of, of himself who just talks shit anonymously to motherfuckers that are actually doing it. You know what I'm saying? I like to just, maybe that's just me of what, what makes me shimmy. You know, I like, I like to watch motherfuckers eat their words. Eat dirt, motherfucker. Eat shit and die, nigga. Fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But rather than, rather than take that route all the time, I, I, you know, I like to just play with niggas. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you want to be a pet, nigga. I can just, you know, y'all want to marry a net nigga sometime. You know what I'm saying? I like fucking with people back who fuck with me. It gives me amusement. Gives me entertainment, makes me feel good and powerful and strong, because I know I'm right. That's why I give these niggers so much hell. Not just this, this nigger's just a motherfucking troll. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about you, nigga. Danilo, Dan Cow. What's up, dude? You my homeboy, dog. Daps. Bam. Appreciate you. One love. Props to Russia, whatever. I don't really have that many Russian customers and all that shit. You know, you niggers are cheap. Motherfucking everyone in Thailand complain. Motherfuckers don't tip the massage girls and shit. It's all, it is what it is, nigga. Philippines is a poor motherfucking country, too. But if they like your ass there, fucking go there, whatever. It's all good, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But for real, though, um... Niggas don't believe I'm official. It's almost like you want... Hey, this guy, he's, he's not no actor. He ain't, he don't be fucking them porn stars. He don't, he's not a director. He's not an author. He's not a race car driver. Racing is a rich white man's sport. Well, so is porn. <laughs> that ain't stopping me. They, they told me back in the motherfucking day that uh, only motherfucking Jews and shit could do it. <laughs> the Jews run the media. The white man has all the race cars. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn today, boy. Y'all gonna learn today as I sit back in my high-rise condo laughing. Laughing at you motherfuckers in America and Russia and the Philippines. What the actual fuck? <sighs> what else did nigga say? Nice you give yourself a thumbs up. Ha ha ha. Yeah, nigga, I give myself a thumbs up. I jack off my own dick too. You want to help me? Gay ass nigga. <laughs> Why? I've, I've always wondered this too, you know, like, oh, this is a great idea. Yeah, I'll go to my motherfucking porno channels and read the comments there. What is with guys, so-called straight guys, who criticize me on either this YouTube shit or even worse on my adult channels? Why are you writing a male man porn star who has two nuts and a dick or cock as white people say just like you by the way i think cock sounds gay actually cock just cock suck my cock got a dick nigga you niggas might have cocks maybe that's part of your problem white guys have cocks i guess suck my cock cocksucker <laughs> no nigga i got a dick okay dick 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 okay i'm gonna talk dick Cock, penis. <laughs> Dick and pussy, motherfucker. Shit. Let's go do, let's actually go look at some of the motherfuckers, since I'm on that topic right now. Let's go to the motherfucking, uh, some of my adult channels here and read what some of these niggas are right. I haven't gone through them in a long time, so I might as well roast with some of them. Then I'm getting to some motherfucking, uh, the real haters, the fucking feds and lawyers and DAs and, you know, I got so much hate for you niggas there. Shit, and the show's not complete unless I end it with you motherfuckers. Alright, okay, first let's go into the, one of the porno channels and read these, see what these niggas are talking about today. Yeah, let's bring back some of the inner circle while I fucking... That's my shit lately, by the way. Ah, oh, boy. 
you motherfuckers, I'm, I'm, re I'm reading some shit on the, uh, my X videos channel right now. The one the nigger doesn't believe I have 85 million motherfuckers on there. God damn, you niggas are stupid. No, not you, not you channel people. I mean, this particular motherfucker. Okay, let's see what some of these guys are talking about on here. Some guys are writing, a lot of people are writing this. Where where are your Native American videos, dude? Please do more. I actually have done more. They're, they're motherfucking, um, the last video I did, I did two of them actually just last month. Go look up uh, Google or YouTube, fuck not YouTube, fucking just search for Aries, Aries Ackerman. She did two updates for me. There's still some new shit on Indian Girls. Um, the site tour is getting reconstructed and all that shit. But you can buy the movies on my clip store, nigga. C4S30703. I had to say that fast. <laughs> you know, look it up, nigga. Uh, yeah, there, let's search up Indian Girls. Indian Girls. Bam. It's on there. You can buy the movies. Buy the movies. I want your money, honey. You niggas can't get enough of them motherfucking Native American Indian Girls, huh? Yeah. Yeah, nobody thought, nobody, apparently nobody thought to, to like, um, to do that shit except for me, huh? There's a couple people that have tried, but I, I'm the king of that shit for the last 10 years or whatever, right? So it's like, that's why I have the federal task force on my ass. O-J-J-D-P-I-C-A-C in Indian country. I see you niggas. That might be you guys riding me. I don't know. <laughs> All you motherfucking undercover brothers, spy versus spy niggas. Or you might just be fans of my work. I don't know. Anyway, there's more videos online. Um, it's actually kind of difficult to find Native American models. Um, but every now and then, some of them do write me, and I do film them. You know, it's been like a, over a month since I did an update on that. But there is two movies with the girl. Go look her up. Google Google her. Google me. I believe the trailer actually even might be on um fucking next video so look it up but there's more coming on the way there's plenty more coming there is no shortage of native american girls who are actually asian by the way native americans are asian if you guys didn't know Ooh. topic of another show of course going on down the comment list here though yeah okay people you were one guy writes you're living my dreams cool page some weird nigger writes I can't believe niggas are right. I can't even repeat some of the shit these niggas are writing on here. Unbelievable. Sick motherfuckers. And what's up with all you niggas sending me dick pictures? Why do you think... Dude, why? I don't shoot gay porn. I have no use for your dick pictures. But what I'm going to start doing... I'm just going to like put them all in like one big zip folder. And I'm going to talk to some of my webmaster friends who do have gay programs. And maybe I could like sell them all your dick pics or whatever. Because all submissions are my, you know, become property of Shimmy Productions and all that shit. So, yeah. Keep sending... Send, send your dick pics away. I'll find something to do with them or whatever. This is mostly Spanish people, by the way. I don't know. What are you, what's with these sick motherfuckers? You see your fucking dicks? Your pingas? <laughs> a lot of niggas are writing, uh, this is in Spanish here, si necesitan actores, man, I got a Spanish type, by the way, Toticos, look that shit up, si necesitan actores de 18 años, privado, if I need actors 18 years old, private and anonymous, hit them up, blah, 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 lots of, lots of niggas want to think they can be porn stars, they want to be porno niggas, they want to be shimmy, well, if you want to be me, motherfucker, go buy a camera, a real camera, not your motherfucking telephone, and shoot some movies. And if the shit's good and you have a model release and whatever, I may purchase them from you. Simple enough. But, but, most niggas ain't going to do that. Why? Because they're too cheap and don't want to pay girls. They don't want to buy equipment. They don't want to buy lights. They don't want to have model releases. They don't want to realize it's actually a whole lot of motherfucking work to make a goddamn porno movie. They think it's easy. You think you're just going to get your goddamn telephone and just, this is a remote control, but I mean, you think you're just going to get a telephone and just film a bitch or whatever? You think she's going to go for that without getting paid? What, nigga? You know what I'm saying? I need, I actually make real movies, okay? You guys are like, I see these shit you niggas are sending me, whatever. You guys are like sending me, quote unquote, like sex clips. What the fuck am I going to do with some little 30 second shaky ass Grainy cell phone footage look like it been uh, you're on a motherfucking boat during a hurricane. Shit's so shaky. Grainy is a goddamn Super Mario Nintendo game. That ain't no movie, nigga. People ain't gonna pay to see that. I can't sell that. You think you done something because you got you fucked the bitch and held the cell phone with a camera while you're doing that? What are you doing, nigga? This is professional productions. Get a real motherfucking 
some shit, nigga. Light up the room with motherfucking thousands of watts of lights or natural sunlight and all that shit. Have a girl do a little bit of fucking makeup powder on her face and we're making a real, she's, the bitch has got to talk, dog. I'll be looking at these little homemade motherfucking amateur, so-called amateur porn submissions. You know, the girl, half the time, the, the bitch don't even look like she knows she being filmed. She's not, she's not acknowledging the camera. You look at all my movies, every girl, she introduces herself. Hey, my name is this, this, I'm from here. You want to show, show, you want to show me your titties, Becky? Oh, yeah, da, 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 bend over, do this, that. I have a format. I'm a professional, nigga. I learned from the motherfucking Jews and crackers in California. I make real movies, okay? Look me up, nigga. This is not, this is not like some shit I take lightly. I actually pre-plan shit when I make my movies, okay? You guys look like you just, uh, uh, I'm gonna make a porno right now. We gonna, I'm gonna film this bitch here. I'm gonna send her, send her a motherfucking WhatsApp and some, nigga, no. You do that shit, but it's not commercial. It's not for sale. I can't do nothing with it, and neither can you. That's just some shit for you to have in your phone to be like, oh, maybe you could show your homeboy. Oh, yeah, look here. I got her here. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, dog. Look. That's how niggas be doing, dog, especially motherfucking Dominicans and motherfucking Spanish people and shit. Man, that ain't shit. Fuck, man. Probably want to see that bullshit. All right, enough ranting about that. Yeah, and don't send me your motherfucking dick pics unless you want to end up on a goddamn gay site. That's where they're going. Keep, keep sending me to me. That's where they're motherfucking going. What's wrong with you niggas? I don't, even, I don't even want pussy pictures, actually. What the fuck am I going to do with goddamn genital pictures, nigga? You think, you know what I'm saying? I be getting all this kind of shit where motherfucking the bitch's head be cut off and shit. I just see a torso. And I'm like, what? Poorly lit, no, girl ain't talking, nigga, nigga, I don't get it, and most of the time they look busted and disgusted, you know what I'm saying, god damn, that's why I'm a professional and that's why I get paid to do what I do, nigga, motherfucker's starting to piss me off, actually, yeah, I don't know what these people talking about, mm-hmm, this is still the X video shit I'm reading. I love these Dominican queens. How do I take... Nigga asked me, how do I take a sex tour to the DR? Why don't you use Google, motherfucker? Incriminating ass motherfuckers. Sex tour. Well, you can start by getting some motherfucking money in your bank account, nigga. That's a good start. You got enough motherfucking money... You might not even have to leave your goddamn block. Come to DR. Just use Google, nigga. Join a forum. Look at my movies. Buy my movies. I want your money, honey. But please remember that, um, as Young Jeezy said, can't sell it till you buy it. Right? I had to make an investment to make my movies. Okay? They require capital up front. Models have to get paid. They need clothes, makeup, to get their hair motherfucking done, this, that, a good location, a nice big house, or this, or that. Preparations, nigga. So much shit y'all niggas don't know. You think this is easy. You think, you think, you think this is like some janky ass shit, and it ain't. Unreal. Unreal, man. Lab tests, this, that, all the, all of the above. You, you niggas just, this just goes over your head. This, this is like a motherfucker... Telling me he wants to like go and make his own cartoon series and put it on TV. And he ain't got nothing but a goddamn notepad full of stick figure sketches. Or not even that. Just a concept. Oh, well, I can do that. He doing that, I can do it. Hmm. You try it, nigga. So many have tried and failed. God damn. All right, what's this other shit nigga's talking on here? Are there any more clips of that super sexy chub girl who gets hypnotized to clean house and suck dick. I'd pay to see more footage of that dirty whore. <sighs> I don't have any movie. I know what he's talking about, too. That's, that was an old-ass movie from over 10 years ago. Motherfucker, I'm not a real hypnotist. Those movies, these movies are not real, nigga. You think I actually can hypnotize bitches to clean my house? If that's the case, I'd be doing it right now. What the fuck? 
I wouldn't have to make my own goddamn bed up and do my own fucking laundry and shit, nigga. You think this shit is real? You think porno movies are real? You think I actually have the power to fucking hypnotize a motherfucking bitch? I wish I could sometimes. You know? I've seen Jewish people do it before, for real. I mean, I had a psychology teacher in high school. He hypnotized a black girl in classroom. It's part of like a, you know, like I, just to show us that hypnosis is real. Hypnosis is voluntary or whatever. But that, that, the movie shit that I did, that shit wasn't real, nigga. I don't have that wily e. coyote brain power to motherfucking you're looking through my eyes kind of shit. You know, what the fuck? A lot of niggas think movies are real. That's that's kind of dangerous and scary. You know what I'm saying? Do you think, like, Jurassic Park is real? You think dinosaurs are real? When you go to sleep at night, do you think that some motherfucking skyscraper-sized Tyrannosaurus Rex is going to come through the motherfucking roof and eat you while you're sleeping? You know what I'm saying? Do you think James Bond 007 is real? Maybe the OJJDP ICAC does. They're following me around just like them. Spy versus spy, James Bourne, whatever the fuck that Bourne identity shit and all that spy shit is. Life ain't no motherfucking movie, nigga. Just because I got a camera, don't take the shit literally, nigga. You motherfuckers are starting to scare me when you take movies seriously. All these motherfucking so-called, like, pickup scenes where you see me... I had a nigga write me saying, um... Man, you remember? He sounded, like, excited, too. He was like, man... Let me get some more videos of that girl you picked up in the store, in the grocery store in that aisle, nigga. The porno girl from the grocery store. I'll be like, wait a minute. Girl from the... Nigga, that wasn't real. God damn, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> Those pickups, quote unquote, pickup scenes are not real, nigga. I am not walking around with a hidden camera on my motherfucking hip talking shit to bitches and shit with shopping carts in the grocery store. All that shit is staged, you stupid motherfuckers. We're fucking in the house and shit like that. But you think this whole pickup thing, like I just can just randomly walk up to a girl in the street with a motherfucking 10-pound camera with a bunch of lights and shit attached to this motherfucker... I should have, I don't have all my gear here at the moment, but I mean, do you think I actually walk out? Can I walk? Okay. If, that, if you think that's real, can I walk up to you in public and be like, hey, how are you? What's your name, baby? Yeah. You, you, you want to come back to my house and fuck? Yeah. Really? Hold. Wow. You look so awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. Can we, you know, those titties are so perfect. Can I squeeze them? Yeah. Uh-huh. Can we come back to the house and fuck? That's how it looks from her point of view. You know what I'm saying? So do you think that I'm actually doing that? You think this shit is real? You need a reality check, nigga. You watch too many motherfucking television, movies, cartoons. You think porno is real? Now, we might be fucking for real, but if you think that whole pickup shit where I just talk to a bitch on the beach with a big motherfucking camera and she's down for it like that, you don't think we did that? You don't think we did like three, four, five, six takes to do that? Really? What about all the multiple camera angles? You're, you, you're, you're so thinking with your dick that you don't even realize I'm using multiple cameras and there's a motherfucker standing over my shoulder with a camera oftentimes filming me fucking shit and you not even, you never took the time to break the video apart or break it down? Huh? What kind of job do you have where you think this shit is real, nigga? Man, y'all niggas watch too much television and shit. God damn. Scary, man. You think the motherfucking X-Men and shit is real? You think Harry Potter and Star Wars and shit is real too, nigga? Ah, damn. Alright, what else? Is this? this is Okay, I'm gonna get off of the porno comments. So I, I can read these shits. Look, look, niggas are popping shit on there right now. I ain't got time for all you niggas. Let's see if there's anybody else who needs to get roasted on here. In particular, and most of them, most of the motherfucking 85 million motherfuckers are leaving me praise and this and that. Every nice video, great. So this, that. You know what I'm saying? Most people praise. It's like motherfucking two percent of people are haters because they're jealous and shit. Nice video, and most of them are nice videos, this, that, all that shit. I'm looking for the haters so I can roast. Hold on, I gotta look hard because actually most people are praising the shit on my work, whatever. Let's see. 
Oh, wait, there's a good one. Wait, wait, no. Oh, no, no. It's praise for the really, really nice pussy. Some nigga wrote. So and so, all right, out of sight. Some nigga writes, damn, I wish I could work for you. Well, you can if you can make good quality movies, motherfucker. And show me what you got. Shit. But, you know, most niggas ain't doing that shit. Most niggas got girlfriends, wives, they scared. All kinds of bullshit. Or they live in countries where it's just not, you know, shit don't go down like that. This is a worldwide thing, a worldwide audience. The motherfuckers are writing me from Brazil and shit and Russia and you know, all these kind of places. Mostly America, though. Canada. All right. This nigga's in Venezuela and this one's there and he's in Spanish motherfuckers and horny motherfuckers. Arabs, too. God damn, you niggas. All right, so enough of shit from Porno Lamb for now. Let's go take a little quick break here. And we're going to get back to some roasting here. Fuck yeah. Life is good, life is good in the hood. All good in the hood. Who's been naughty and who's been nice? Making the list and checking it twice. This is funny shit here. This beat's hot, by the way. I like this shit. Alright, let's pause that shit. Pause, pause, pause. Alright, so, what's this thing been rolling for? God damn, an hour and 21 minutes. I'm about to break the record of the old roast. The last one was a motherfucking hour and a half or whatever. This one's going to supersede that shit. That's, that's what goes to show you what happens when um, I'm indoors with air conditioning. You know what I'm saying? While I was outside last time, I was getting motherfucking hot. And I haven't even started the real roast yet. I was just reading comments and just talking shit. If I've, I've, I've already, I don't want to say I've wasted an hour and 20 minutes of my life and my day here, but I kind of have here. So let's, uh, let me not waste time. Let's, let's try to wrap this shit up within the next, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes or whatever or some shit, right? So I don't have nothing on the notepad about whatever. This is, this is, this is actually not an empty pad, but the page is empty. I'm not going to even waste the time on writing. I'm just going to go off the head here, talk about this nigga here. Mr. Dorian A. Peters, who I continue to refer to, my number one hater from the California Bar, California Bar ID number 261863. How are you doing today, sir? As they say in the Philippines, thank you for that information, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? Thank you, sir. California is full of motherfucking Filipinos, yo. The black African-American lawyer who works on behalf of the office, the U.S. Department of Justice Task Force called the OJJDP ICAC, Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force, which follows me around the fucking globe for over a decade. How are you guys doing today? I know that you guys follow me over Raina, 
Reina, a.k.a. Ariel Ellsworth. And there's many episodes on the Shimmy Show here detailing this. Now, this particular 19... I gotta get another fucking shampoo again. I even though I did it a few days ago. A little bit of freight ends here. Fucking lux, right? This guy follows me to the Dominican Republic. He follows me to California in addition with, like, about a dozen other motherfuckers who will also have their day on here, too. But this this guy is the primary, my primary harasser. Um, I've got a whole fucking shitload of emails, as does he. I'm actually looking at Gmail and Google. He's at least his computer device is online right now. You think I'm going to ban you or blacklist you? Never, nigga. Come on, man. You, we're stuck at the hip, nigga. You want to fucking cross swords with Shemmy Triple X, nigga? Let's go, nigga. This is, this is motherfucking... It's going to make your day, nigga. I got a motherfucking pet. I like having internet pets. You want to harass me in my domain? Right on, nigga. Very beautiful. So all this comes to light with um, Google my name a couple years ago. And there, there's it, on it comes up a document called B4PP.PDF, which I call the smoking gun. And this is a document from the OJJDPICAC in Indian country with my name on it saying, and it's another previous show about this, saying, Jim Elise McBeb, he's this guy, he's a motherfucker, he's, they've associated me with human trafficking, murdering, I'm like, missing native women, and all over one video girl from New Mexico who's 19 years old, has a criminal record, battery on a police officer, arrested twice in multiple states, Claims to be a runaway, but is actually a model, has done photography and video for me and a couple other photographers and producers or whatever. But she's a scapegoat for this organization, OJJDP, ICAC, and Indian Country. They receive millions of dollars or have received millions of dollars in federal funding via grant money or whatever. And uh, some sure it's all been spent up now for the past decade. And uh, these people have just hired a task force to follow me around to airports train stations, other countries, namely the Dominican Republic, coming with this Dorian A. Peters guy and a whole support team, a black girl. There's also an Asian girl in LAX airport, the black girl in the BART train station in Oakland, and motherfucking and all kinds of other girls in cafes, bars. There's an Asian one. I mean, there's, they got money, nigga. The feds got money. The United States of America government has like unlimited resources. They print their own money and they pay these niggas to follow me around and harass me. So basically, Dorian A. Peters and this organization, they have access to my flight records. They follow me just like I'm motherfucking Jason Bourne and Bourne Identity and all that kind of shit, right? This is like I'm the real motherfucking six million dollar man. And so is this Rhina girl, right? And I mean, the document proof, there's, there's no way to refute this. You, you know, facts don't lie. This is a federal document with the U.S. DOJ seal, B4PP.PDF and a few others or whatever, right? So, I mean, but it's like their their case has no validity. It's like, I'm sorry, sir. The girl signed a model release. I have an actual video online on this channel and on my adult video channels that shows the girl throwing money in the motherfucking air, shows a model release form in the goddamn video itself. And I did a behind the scenes 10 minute post shoot interview. I actually have... Um, this girl actually did two shoots with me. She came back and did a shoot the next day for actually half price, actually. Wink, wink. But I mean, like, yeah, I paid her. I even did her tax return, which I'm not required to do with 1099 form. But I did it because I paid her over $600 and I'm being legal and I want my motherfucking money back in them taxes, IRS and all that shit. So I'm doing everything by the book. I'm no crook. Motherfucker, these are movies. Get used to it. Hollywood, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like me, eat a motherfucking dick. If you're racist, if you don't like to see a black man fuck Native American slash Asian girls, which is what they really are, eat a motherfucking dick, nigger. I paid her. I got the camera. I got the model release. I did the work, and it's legal, and I didn't break no laws, right? But these niggers want to scapegoat me. They want to make it to like I'm like pimping a bitch, or I'm doing this, and I'm a human trafficker, and all this shit. And they're following me around trying to entrap and build motherfucking cases on me when there ain't shit they can do. And that must upset them quite a bit, you know? It must upset them quite a bit to even have this video online with me airing them out.
And the number one nigger, African American Negro, Negroid nigger, N I G G E R with a hard R as he emails me himself in my own Gmail, which I have, nigger, 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 from Dorian A. Peters, District Attorney, California Bar ID number 261863. I am not forgetting your number, nigger, and I am not forgetting your name, and I'm not forgetting everything you have said to me and done to me. Now, I invite this black man, quote unquote man, to my house in the Dominican Republic. I Skype him, I ask him how your day going. I don't have no hatred in my heart for this black nigger with eczema. You know what I'm saying? He's calling. I'm talking to him. I voluntarily call him up and say, how's it going, bro? Yeah, cool, man. Come down to DR. We got a nice house. Weather's great. Girls are nice. Everything's friendly. Come on down. Not knowing this nigger has it in for me, and he's working on behalf of the motherfucking feds and the fucking task force about Raina. And he doesn't come alone. He comes in tow with the black bitch with motherfucking poetic justice dookie ass braids. You know what I'm saying? The only motherfucking... Black bitch in the town that speaks English. There's no black girls in the whore town, so sue a Dominican Republic. I ask her in the goddamn taco burrito shop, what are you doing here with this nigger present? Now, this Dorian A. Peters guy, these niggers are, let's tell you how slick lawyers are. They always have some extra, you know, you know you're being set up or entrapped, just for you guys who don't know, by the feds and shit. They always bring an extra person as like a witness or someone to like secretly record you with a motherfucking like little... 007 spy camera pin or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They always bring some extra person as like a verifier slash silent witness. That's how you know they're, and you know these people are not boyfriend, girlfriend. They're not stuck together. Dorian A. Peters has brought the black girl. He's brought him, he's brought with him an East Indian girl to Oakland, California with me to some motherfucking hot dog diner. Took him to a motherfucking bar. Niggas trying to buy me drinks and shit when I don't drink beer. I'm like, why are you trying to give me alcohol? I don't drink alcohol, dog. I don't drink beer. What's wrong with you? You know this, like. You th <laughs> nigger, are you are you gay? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Now let's talk about this nigger since we're on the roasting topic here now. This is some shit I haven't even discussed in some of the other shows, you know, and I know it makes the nigger piss in his little motherfucking panties when I, when I go and discuss this shit here. Now this black guy, Dorian A. Peters, he flies down to Dominican Republic. You know what I'm saying? Puerto Plata Airport. You know, what's it called? In La, La Union. Mm-mm. We get into the nitty gritty details, nigga. It's gonna be good, boy. <laughs> Makes my motherfucking teeth sparkle, nigga. <laughs> so this nigga goes to the hotel next to New Garden. Right next to New Garden. I want for those of you who don't know what New Garden in Sasua is, go and Google it on YouTube and see what kind of shit goes down there. <laughs> or even better, go look on Totico's at my little map where I have a shim so called shimmy street map. Yeah, I have a little I made a nice little map for the members area. Niggas can see shit or whatever on there. So he goes to a little hooker little cheap hooker hotel in Sasua, no doubt funded by the United States Department of Justice and the OJJDPICAC in Indian country. This is your tax dollars at work, people. You've got this black man district attorney who is at a particular time getting paid over $100,000 a year in California because the salaries are public. I looked it up or whatever. From Martinez, California in the Bay Area, California Bar ID 261863 in case I didn't mention enough times. <laughs> this nigga goes... Goes and stays at a motherfucking hooker hotel. I go check on him once or twice after dropping him off, and he's there's motherfucking hairs on the goddamn floor, just like just like I got some girly fuck. Hold on. And these are like can you guys see that? These are Thai uh, Thai girl hairs on the floor here. But now this this is a bald headed black man, right? Or almost bald black man. Now there's hairs just like this. Yeah, there we go. You can see it on the camera. This is like Asian girl here. But it's on my motherfucking floor because I got tile floors here, right? Most Dominican girls in the Dominican Republic have hair extensions, which means when you fuck them or they're present in your room and this and that, there's long strings of strands of hair or synthetic hair or whatever all over the motherfucking um, room or whatever, like a goddamn crime scene, right? Now, this nigga tells me he fucked some bitches down there. You know what I'm saying? And in his hotel room, there's hairs all over his floor and in the goddamn garbage can, right? So you fuck hookers, nigga, just like me. So what makes you any more different than me? Well, you're getting federally funded and getting paid $100,000 by the people of California and the feds and all this shit. 
which is pretty interesting. I ain't hating on you. That's good. More power to you, nigger. More power to you. But if you fuck hookers, why are you criticizing me, the Habesha African-American Ethiopian nigger that makes a living making legal movies? 18 USC 2257, nigga. Hit him with the cannon, send him to CP Bannon. It's just what I'm doing to this nigga here. So it's like, if you're a public official, a district attorney, you know what I'm saying? Which means you probably send niggers to jail for a living. Thomas Dubois from the Boondocks. Mr. Dubois. <laughs> Corny ass nigga with a seven foot tall. Jew dinosaur bitch girlfriend Golden Rails tweeting on Twitter. Is Shimmy Cash in the DR? Look at my Twitter, by the way. Shimmy Triple X. There's screenshots on there for this year. Why is your girlfriend asking and talking about me? And why does she know you're going to the Dominican Republic? Golden Rail, Ivory Blossom. Schultz! Your little Jewish lawyer friend girl. She fucked up. She airing you out too, nigga. I don't know if you guys are still together. I give a fuck or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like fucking tall bitches myself, but I mean, each, each his own, you know what I'm saying? This is a, this is a like motherfucking crusty ass, black ass, minute bowl ass looking nigga too with eczema. So, you know, you get what you take, what you can get, nigga, is what you got to do when you look like that. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's like, yeah. So why is your girl like all up in my business? You know what I'm saying? I don't know this bitch. I've never seen her in person. Unless she's like, she's too big to hide. I mean, I can see her from fucking 300 yards away or whatever, just like, you dumbass. But it's like, um, she, seems, she seems to know something. Miss Ivory Blossom Golden Rail seems to know something, and we might have to dig a little deeper into her shit, too, maybe. Just maybe. She's on Twitter talking reckless about me, mentioning my name, at Shimmy Cash. So let's see what's going on with that, at Dorian Peters. Hmm? So what does this nigga do, yo? He, come, he comes down to DR. He goes to Roomba Bar. Go on YouTube, Roomba Bar Sosua. And also go to uh, look up Passion Sosua, the biggest brothel in the Caribbean. Dorian A. Peters, District Attorney, California Bar ID, public salary, comes down to the Dominican brothel Passions with Shimmy Triple X, Shimmy Cash, where the girls grab your dick as soon as you walk in the door. There used to be a saying in Sasua that passions is the only place in the world where you don't have to hold your own balls. <laughs> this nigga comes in there and he's asking me not about the beautiful black Caribbean Dominican Spanish girls dancing butt fucking naked with their pussy and ass cheeks right in his motherfucking face asking me about Reina Reina from Indian Girls. A 19-year-old Navajo Native American girl who you can watch the video of her sucking me off, getting fucked on the bed, fucked on the floor, doggy style, and everything else. And you can buy that movie on Clips for Sale, C4S30703. And, uh, but the price has gone up, people. The price is now $599.95 for all of her movies. Why? Because, well, I mean, because they're worth it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to pay it. You don't want to. But, I mean, that's just what the price is. You know, and people can sell their products and movies for whatever they like. So, if you think the movie's that goddamn special, go buy it. If the bitch is worth that much money, I'm obviously going to charge more for her movies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got motherfucking lawyers charging to charge motherfucking $400 an hour. So, of course, I got to go sell the movies for $5.99 or whatever, nigga. <laughs> buy my movies, I want your money, honey. Trying to get it how I live, nigga. I want to get, I need to get that new motherfucking um, 5D cannon, red dragon, all that shit. I got some actual real hot porno star blonde bitches. I got to shoot and whatever and all this and that and the other. I got big plans, nigga. So it's like, whatever. But anyway, getting back to this nigga, dog. He's quite an amazing, interesting character. It's like, I wonder to myself, Mr. Ray Bans, at what point... <laughs> Did you realize that I'm telling you the truth and that this girl is actually a back page hooker who posts her own ads? Why are you wearing Ray-Bans in the brothel trying to dig up dirt on her? Why don't you go and talk to her? Huh? I'm not her pimp. I'm not any girl's motherfucking pimp, nigga. I'm a fucking nerd with a computer and a camera making movies. 
As the OJJDP document B4PP.PDF says, Shemelise McBeb is a Florida entrepreneur and author. And that's the document from the feds from the task force, nigga, on the goddamn PowerPoint slideshow. Now, if your own people who are paying and bankrolling you to come and stalk me like fucking prey tell you that I'm an author and entrepreneur, you think they don't know what the fuck they're talking about? You think that I, I just like... I wrote some fake ass books. I have real books on Amazon, nigga. Go buy them. Go read them. Go get the ebook version. I don't give a fuck. But I'm a real author, nigga. I'm a real. You're just like that motherfucking dumbass Russian that doesn't believe. You don't think I can write them books? You don't think I'm an actor? You don't think I have 85 million viewers? You don't think I fuck porn stars? You don't think I used to be a race car driver on fucking seven, eight different circuits and car clubs? You don't think that I'm capable, nigga? You niggas are stupid, dog. What the actual fuck? I know niggas are stupid in some cases, but I mean, it's like when you start ignoring facts and hard data and numbers and my life is unlike most people. OK, I don't know why people underestimate me and don't believe that I've done. Nigga, I've flown airplanes before. I have a CDL Class A driver's license. I went coast to coast, over the road trucking, nigga. I delivered trailers to motherfucking Walmart, Sam's Club, you name it, nigga. What the fuck? I've done some shitty motherfucking jobs, too. I'm an actor. I'm a producer. I'm... Nigga, you don't know the shit I've done. Where's my motherfucking passport? Hold on. Niggas, they say niggas don't believe fat meat is greasy. You go, as they say at the Dominican Republic, where's the safe? Where's the safe? Well, nigga, the only thing I got in my motherfucking safe is a fucking passport. Where's the safe? Where's the safe? Stupid motherfucker. Oh, while we're at it, by the way, huh? Bring that little bag out, too. You want to clown niggas properly, you got to have the correct props, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Ray-Bans, quote-unquote Twitter, don't mess with me because I know how to shoot. With your little AR-15 rifle shooting outdoors at the shooting range. Fed you lie, ass nigga, blood clot, pussy clot. Bad boy, brings bring the bad boys beat back. Come on, YouTube. You ain't buffing. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do when they come for you? Buy my movies, I want your money, honey. Hold on, nigga. If I'm not a motherfucking movie producer, turn that volume down a little bit. Yo, if I'm not a motherfucking movie producer, why do I have motherfucking porn star motherfucking cheerleader outfits in my motherfucking suitcase? Go buy the movies, bitch. Hope Harper, Anastasia Rose. Fucking, who's the last bitch? Motherfucking, um, Aries Ackerman. All the motherfucking models on my fucking agency, nigga. Wearing the motherfucking cheerleader uniforms. Getting fucked by me, nigga. What? Why do I have cheerleader uniforms? Just, am, I, am I the average nigga to you people? I got them in a couple different sizes or whatever. And I got that was the extra small. I got the medium for some girls. You know what I'm saying? Some girls, like some girls, they have like small tits and big ass, you know, mostly Latinas or whatever. But I mean, do you think I have like high school girl uniforms just for no motherfucking reason, nigga? Do you think I have like ring lights and props and motherfucking umbrellas and shit just for the fuck of it? If I if, if I'm not an actor or producer, why do I have these things? You see this thing, nigga, it's called a passport. And it's a little tattered, you know why? Because it gets used all the motherfucking time. Now, how many stamps do I... This shit ain't even got no more motherfucking pages and stamps and the shit left in it, really. Hmm. Now, we got stamps here from... Dominican Republic. Philippines. I don't think you niggas are bullshit. I'm showing you niggas here. Look here, nigga. Philippines. Dominican Republic, 
visas too, nigga. Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Canada, Singapore, nigga. Immigration, Singapore. What's that other one at the top there? Another Singapore visa. Republic, Republica de Costa Rica, nigga. How many times up in the Costa Rica? Way too many motherfucking times. Costa Rican girls are beautiful. What about Japan? You niggas got visas in Japan? Huh? Find out I ain't the average ass nigga, dog. Thailand, nigga. <laughs> I got so many. I got so many goddamn Thailands, nigga. More Costa Ricans. Every, almost every fucking page is full. I'm just looking for new countries on here. Hold on. What happened to you guys? China, nigga. China. El Chino. <laughs> Hong Hong Hong. Philippines. Filipinas. Pinoy's. Pinay's. Thank you for that information, sir. Like the Russian nigga, you, you want to spread your seeds in 50 different countries before you die, sir? I got, oh, what the fuck else did I forget on here? Motherfucking uh, China, Philippines. Oh, yeah, Indonesia. I didn't really like Indonesia that much. But, yeah, nigga, I got Indonesia, Singapore. Some of the pages are so fucking faded from, um, you know, shit getting wet and shit. But it's like, God damn, dog. I haven't been around the fucking world. Huh? What the fuck? You don't think I'm official? You think this is all just like, I do all these props just for YouTube to sound like some big motherfucker? To sound like I'm doing big pimping? Nigga, I don't have a Rolex on my wrist. Go buy one if I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a Porsche, though I have the shirt. I can buy one if I want to. I don't have a large motherfucking mansion or house or whatever, though I could go mortgage one if I wanted to. I live well beneath, well below my means, nigga, so that I can make movies and do shit for profit, which is smart, so I can work for myself and be in Thailand, like Sagat and M. Bison, okay? God damn. Niggas, I don't have a motherfucking iPhone and no goddamn gold and shit. Nigger shit. Because I'm not stuck in America like you dumb motherfuckers. I'm not laden down, burdened down with motherfucking debt. I don't have some dumbass bitch depleting my fucking bank account and shit. I'm smart, nigga. I would say that I'm a genius if I have a 117 IQ when I was 17. Huh? Now, some motherfuckers might be smart. I'm a university dropout, but I do shit, and I get shit done my way, okay? It just amazes me, you know what I'm saying? It amazes me, people who people who haven't traveled to fucking 20 countries and haven't written books and haven't fucked porn stars and make movies regular and get paid for it in the process, huh? People that don't have six-pack abs are talking shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggers that don't win 10K races on the regular are talking shit. Niggers that ain't got no money are talking shit. Bitches that are broke are talking shit. People who are unhealthy are talking shit. People who are about to die are talking shit because they wasted their fucking lives. Talking shit. People who entrap me are talking shit. Dorian A. Peters, number 261863, California Bar ID, be spying on me. Maybe it's time for this little freestyle. I wouldn't call it freestyle. I'm going to call it pay style, actually. I got to get this. I got to actually, I don't know shit about rapping or studios and shit, but I'm going to buy a little motherfucking microphone and get this shit done proper so I can roast properly. But you guys want to hear a rough draft? Fuck it. Let's bring some beat. Any beat, I'll drop it on G's. You play that inner circle back. Reload it. Fuck it, we could do a little beat. You know you hate niggas when you got a rap about it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this shit right. My first draft rapping on this shit. <laughs> Where's this say? I even made a little chorus. Let's see if I can get it right. 
Dun, 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 dun. Don't mess with me because I know how to shoot is what he's sitting on. That don't sound right. Here we go. Dorian A. Peters, he just can't hack it. Nothing but an old dark skinned black faggot. Can't trust nigga lawyers like public enemy. Coming from the California bar ID. Number 261863 be spying on me. Say you wanna get this bar, nigga? You wanna get this bar, nigga? <laughs> Working for the Indians and the feds. Get the real Jews in the courtroom and beat them upside the head. Can't trust nigga lawyers. <laughs> what, what rhymes with that? Only fuck with the real sons of Ibrahim. Hire nigger lawyers who end up like Radio Rahim. Like RBX, I write a rhyme, hard as concrete. Step to the heat and get burned like mesquite, nigga. I like that. Dorian A. Peters, he just can't hack it. Nothing but an old, dark-skinned, black faggot. Can't trust nigga lawyers like public enemy. California bar ID. Number 261863 be spying on me. What you gonna do, nigga? What you gonna do when the real rap hits? <laughs> Rolling the dice, nigga, with Shimmy, the original E-Pimp. Buy that book, y'all. The original E-Pimp blowing up like the motherfucking Goodyear blimp. O-J-J-D-P-I-C-A-C, put me on blast for the fake human trafficking. Meanwhile, I'm just a nerdy-ass East African. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Talking all the DEA lawyer shit. Can your bar ID take 80 million fucking hits to the dome like LL Cool J? Fuck with shimmy, nigga, find out I don't play when it comes to my motherfucking paper. I cut your rep down like a fucking Dollar Tree razor, nigga. How much sense does it make to fuck with the number one spammer? Let your ass up like my K-Band radar jammer. Nigga, follow me to the store like a Dominican whore. <laughs> Hacker shit, nigga. Webmaster shit. Fucking with a real third world nigga. Just want y'all to know. Finger always on the digital trigger, y'all. Don't fuck with a webmaster. Don't fuck with a nerdy webmaster, nigga. <sighs> O-J-J-D-P-I-C-A-C in Indian country. Don't matter if you wear them little three-piece men's warehouse suits, nigga. Fuck with me, your shit won't even reboot. <laughs> My other book. Dorian A. Peters, he just can't hack it. Nothing but an old, dark-skinned black faggot. <laughs> can't trust nigga lawyers like public enemy. Coming from the California bar ID, number 261863 be spying on me. <laughs> All right, y'all been watching the Shimmy Show. I'm just fucking around, y'all. I'm just fucking around. They fuck with me, I'm just fucking with you back with the real, with the facts, nigga. If, if I'm bullshitting, why are the documents online? Why are the PDFs online? Why is the task force following me to the motherfucking airport talking about, I'm thinking about getting into escorting. Fucking 300 pound ass Asian bitch or whatever. Now, now getting back to the Dorian, no, I didn't see Dorian A. Peters in LAX in the, in the airport on November 18th, 2014. That was another separate incident. I did see the black girl earlier in the day in the airport. She actually winked at me and let me know something was up or whatever. I, I respect her for that. But it's like, um, that was just, I believe it was the same girl from the Dominican Republic, by the way. The black chick says to me, you know, uh, fucking, um, she says she remembers me from elementary school. This one of Dorian A. Peters' associates says she remembers me from elementary school, from kindergarten, at quote unquote Longfellow. Now, there's a school in East Oakland or West Oakland called Longfellow, and I went there in the first grade. But the girl said she remembered me from kindergarten, right? The weird thing about me is since I was like an accelerated, quote unquote, gifted gate program student, I actually skipped kindergarten. And one of the reasons why I've, I'm actually young, I finished high school at uh, seven, just turned 17 or whatever. I've always been one year younger than everybody in school because I skipped kindergarten. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I've always, I'm always been a little young, small nigga in school, right? But this girl tells me that she remembered me from kindergarten. And I was like, but, but I skipped kindergarten. 
But that tells me the fine details that the OJJDP ICAC has about me. They looked up my entire file down to my elementary school. They look up my flight records. They know where I'm going, what time I arrive, what time I'm in transit, what terminal am I in. You have multiple people following me. Uh, excuse me, that's like a little bit, you know, it's like a personal safety thing, really, is what it's getting down to now. Maybe that's why I'm doing the shows for some reason, too. It's like, if you actually have people that are stalking you down to micro-movements, like Dorian A. Peters stalks me to a Dollar Tree in San Leandro at Bay Fair Mall, like, physically from my mom's car to the store and just walks up to me and shit. Like, if you run up on me in public like that, I'm giving this as just, just a little, little, little warning to all of you. Nigger. Step to the heat and get burned like mesquite, okay? I don't take my personal safety lightly. Now that I know that people are actually following me in the real physical world and not online... Best believe I got my eye on you. Best believe I got every little motherfucking hidden camera spy James Bond motherfucking Jason Bourne device I can find on me. Okay? Because I got to have shit to document shit if the shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? Believe me. So it's like, I'm not going to be just naked solid snake out there. Real talk. So it's like, put yourself in my shoes, people. I mean, if you are actually being physically stalked by a team of a dozen people... Over nothing. You're not just doing, you're just going about your business to go to motherfucking Dollar Tree and shit. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? I'm going to the airport to buy fish tacos and I got people trying to entrap me and send me to motherfucking jail, prison, court, or whatever the fuck to get your little grant money report and shit. It's like, huh? Hold on now. Hold on. Okay. Now I'll see what you're doing. Okay. That's why you're getting all the hate. That's why you're getting the rap songs. That's why you're getting the roasts. Because it's real, nigga. This is real life. This is my life. I'm the six million dollar man for you motherfuckers. I'm producing jobs for all you people. Even though Trump made great cuts to the OJJDP ICAC, 70% of their funding's been cut or whatever. The, the fucking director's gone, this, that, but they still, they're still out there. Native American people, hello, I am not your motherfucking enemy, okay? Go look on your own little reservations in motherfucking Arizona, New Mexico, Minnesota, wherever the fuck you people are at. But I'm not your problem. I'm in motherfucking Thailand, nigga. If the bitches are on the video, it's because I paid them and they want the work. Hello? 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 Do you know that girls like money? They might not even like black men. I might look better than the average motherfucking pot belly ass motherfucking bannock bread fucking drunk ass Indian on the goddamn the average one that I know. Now, I've lived in Canada, and I've worked for the Indian reservations in Minnesota. I've worked at Grand Portage Casino. I've been their government grant lead accountant. That was the official job title. I actually write grants for these motherfuckers. Hello. I've, I've used my accounting motherfucking little school degree shit to do their accounting and payroll. I've done casino security, worked at their C stores. And in Canada, where I lived for six, seven years, in Thunder Bay, Ontario, where there's a whole shitload of motherfucking Indians, I live amongst them. Nigga, I know Indians. I know Native American people. They're cool. For the most part, they're fucking cool people. Okay? I'm not the motherfucker that's like this exploitation motherfucker. Huh? I didn't take your goddamn land. My daddy's from Ethiopia, nigga. Get the fuck out of here from another motherfucking continent. I might as well be from fucking Mongolia, where your roots actually are. But... You know what I'm saying? I digress. It's like myself and the so-called black man. I'll be writing Native Americans. On Native American comments. I, that, that's another topic for another show. They're writing all this same racist nigger niggers. We ought to, we're going to kill this nigger, have a nigger barbecue. I get all these goddamn death threats from fucking Native Americans and shit. And I'm like, huh? What is the OJJDP ICAC in Indian country and Dorian A. Peters doing about all the fucking death threats that I actually have and post online and all that kind of shit? What are they doing about that? I'm posting their IP addresses and email addresses and all these notes and threats and all this kind of shit. What are they doing about that? You don't care about that, huh? I guess it's not important to you because only Native American lives matter. Black and African American lives don't matter. Interesting. Yet you have African Americans wearing motherfucking Ray-Bans going all around the goddamn planet to work on behalf of them. 
most interesting, very hypocritical, nigger with a hard R. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Like, what the fuck? I show love to these people and you're doing this to me? What the fuck? I'm legal, in the legal, in the clear, paid the money. I pay an amateur model with a motherfucking pot belly and cricket titties the same money that I pay a motherfucking professional porn star because I'm a good guy that doesn't believe in exploiting fucking women and paying them what they're worth and not cutting their rates down. I don't talk that shit, nigga. I pay the money. Shimmy Cash is my name, nigga. I pay cash. I'm not cheap with girls. Make that goddamn movie in a four-star Holiday Inn, and they're still talking shit. The fuck's wrong with you ungrateful, entitled Native American people? I am not your problem. If you don't like the goddamn movies, click to another one. But I am not racist. I am not going to exclude you from the motherfucking movies because you are not special. And maybe you don't want to fucking hear that from a black man. Native American people are not special. Your lives are not more valuable than the rest of the world. I am sorry to tell you. You know, you start starting to sound like all that God's chosen people, all that shit, like other people talk, which is bullshit. There's no such thing. You're just a living, breathing motherfucking organism, just like me and you and the other black, white, yellow, brown, other motherfucking people around the rest of the world. And factually, you are Asians. Native Americans are Asians. Mongoloids. Hello. Look at your features. You're hairless. Skinny motherfucking legs, no ass, alcohol intolerance, just like the people who are Mongoloids. Hence, Japanese, motherfucking, uh, mostly Japanese, closely related or whatever. But it's like, look it up, nigga. About the ice bridge and crossing over. You didn't fall from the fucking sky. God damn. Now, you might have been here first in North America. I don't know the history of all that, the bones and all this and that, but... You have to realize there's only three types of people on the planet. Three variations of humans. Negroid, Caucasoid, Mongoloid. Native Americans are Mongoloid, which means they don't have body hair and the other features, whatever I mentioned, and the skulls and all that shit. You're not your own race. Just like Latinos, Hispanics are white. Okay? It is what it is. Don't study anthropology if you don't, you know, whatever. But it is what it is, nigga. I, am, I apologize about the motherfucking history that happened before I was born. OK, some niggers want to get on the fucking Internet. Oh, he's a black. He's racist like the Buffalo soldiers and shit. And I'm like, huh? And some other niggers, one of you people in my family, they write to me. We're part Native American. No, sorry. Black people are not part Native American. Most are not. You know what I'm saying? I got to do a 23 and me test or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not. I don't have that much motherfucking Asian in me, I don't think. But either, regardless, just because of my body hair and things of the other traits or whatever, but I'll do the test anyway. But it's like, um, yeah, yeah um, Native American people are, they're, they're, they are what they are. But their lives are not more valuable than my own and vice versa. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. So you guys live your life. I live my life. If you don't want to buy the movies, don't buy them. We don't want to look at the trailers. Don't look at them. Is what it is, nigga. Is what it is. So anyway, you've been watching The Shimmy Show. Thanks for your time, whatever. More roasting will continue. Uh, the beatings will continue just because I'm shimmy. And uh, racing is a rich white man sport. <laughs> buy, buy my movies. I want your money. Even if you don't buy the motherfucking movies, it don't matter, nigga. I'm still in Thailand, and I'm probably going to buy a motherfucking Porsche very soon. Maybe more than one. I don't know. Just because I want to. Maybe just to prove a point that racing is not a rich white man's sport. So I'm going to get back to doing my shit. Go train for the next 10K coming up, which is coming up really, 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 really soon. The motherfucking Patty of Triathlon's not motherfucking here this year. They, they canceled that shit for whatever reason. But it's like, yeah, I got shit to do. I got my own life to live. Can go to the island. I can do some other shit. Not going back to the Philippines. Maybe Singapore, though. Maybe I don't know what I'm going to do for the next little hopover, really, actually. I have to think about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to the market to get some fucking mangoes and some food and some good shit. So fuck it, man. Maybe I'll get another suit made or buy some more bootleg-ass clothes and shit. I don't know, but I'm going to live my life. Thank you for watching. Sawari Kap. And uh, how do they say good morning? Arun Sawat. And assalamu alaikum to you Muslim motherfucker. Assalamu alaikum. Boom. No. <laughs> but I mean, it's uh, it is what it is, man. Life life is good. Um, 
life is worth living. Any other positive shit I could tell you people, um, just live your dreams. Uh, advice to people that are uh, on a serious note, on a serious note, since I'm being serious now. You know, um, Follow me on Instagram, Shimalise McBeb. My name's hard to spell, but look up, there's a link to it probably on this channel and on Twitter, Twitter, Shimmy Triple X, Shimmy XXX. And uh, you can follow me and see the little inside peek of my little world, my limited view of what I explore and shit and whatever. And you'll find that I'm just a normal motherfucker. Yes, I make movies. Yes, I fuck porn stars. Yes, I drive race cars and fly airplanes and drive big rigs and security guard and do accountants for Indians and write grants and all kinds of shit and shitty jobs, you know. Fucking in Canada, I delivered newspapers and telemarketed. I mean, I did all kinds of jobs, you know, nigga. I'd, I might be the nigger that's just delivering your newspaper. I might be the one that's delivering your trailer full of food to the store. I might be the guy you jack off to while you're watching movies with your fucking girl or something. I don't know, nigga. I don't know what my role in life or society is to you people. Maybe you just like to watch me rant. Maybe you're gay. Maybe you work for the OJJDP ICAC in Indian country. Maybe you're Dorian A. Peters. Don't mess with me because I know how to shoot. Maybe your blood pressure's rising, nigga. Don't die on me, dog. I won't have nobody to roast good then. Fucking with you, nigga. I don't really hate this nigga, honestly. I don't have enough time. I got time to do shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I do this just as a hobby, like whatever, but... uh. For everybody that continues to leave me comments and whatever, it's all good. Keep keep the shit rolling. Give me something to read. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not married. I don't have a motherfucking dog, cat, wife. You know, God I might have a little girlfriend or whatever every now and then or something. But I mean, pretty much this internet shit is uh is my shit. I'm a webmaster. I like being alone most of the time. You know what I'm saying it's one of the traits of being an only child. I have no brothers or sisters. I have kids and a big family and shit like that, and it is what it is. But, I mean, it's like, maybe, just maybe, maybe I just like talking to my computer. In a world where people spend, you know what I'm saying, on their motherfucking smartphones, like just sliding their thumbs on glass all goddamn day, I'm actually not that crazy. At least I'm publishing my, my thoughts and opinions on a platform where other people can actually learn from them and whatever you know they can read up all these other shits um, I re i'm actually reading a lot of stuff on youtube now about this shit called migtow mgtow men going their own way that was the other topic i was observing this week called ib ibmore ibmor it stands like a black man's version of migtow whatever and i realized that i was actually a quote unquote so-called migtow back when i was 17 men going their own way because that's when i first started working for myself and just said you know what Fuck what everyone else is doing. You know, if, if, if I can see the fault and flaws in other people's lives, I'm not going to go down the same road or same path that I see other people go on and have bad results. You know what I'm saying? And my end results are good. I'm healthy, happy, have a business, have, have assets. I have movies that will sell forever. You know what I'm saying? Always remember, you can't pass on a, if you have a good job. You know what I'm saying? If you're a motherfucking doctor, teacher, factory worker, attorney, whatever. You can't pass that on to your children. But a business, you can. Movies, you can. Music, you can. Media, books, things that will survive and outlive you. I say, As I say all the time, I could get hit by a motherfucking bus while I'm running any day now. It doesn't matter. Videos are up there. Everyone's going to still keep getting paid and watching me. I'll live forever via media. You know what I'm saying? So wouldn't you rather do that on a platform Unlike, like, fucking Facebook and shit, they can just ax and delete. Wow, like, they can kill this channel right now. Today, it wouldn't matter. It's still up there. It's on the internet everywhere. It's shit's mirrored everywhere. I'm just redundant like that. But it's like, um, yeah, man, um, movies live on forever. People live on forever in movies. That's why I make them. Maybe I like being immortal. So anyway, yeah, man, I'm just talking that shit now. Uh, maybe I'll start rapping on the next episode. Whatever. It is what it is. You know? The Shimmy Show. It's my show. I do it my way. And this is that way past the two-hour two, two hour mark. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. So y'all y'all can jam out to the rest of uh, Inner Circle. And fuck it. Shimmy signing out from The Shimmy Show. Peace and hair grease. Once again, break yourself for likes or dislikes. I don't care one way or the other, nigga. I'm getting paid. But if you want more people to see this shit, throw a thumbs up. And buy my movies, nigga. 
If you don't want to buy them, at least look at the trailers and get the numbers up. Play some Wu Tang and ride out. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Play that Wu Tang. Some Wu Tang quotes. Play, nigga. What's wrong with YouTube today? I'm signing out. YouTube is fucking up. Try your Wu Tang style. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. That's pretty much my laundry there, baby. Tiger style. <laughs> Ting brothers. <laughs> The Wu Tang Clan, the Thirty Six Chamber, Shaolin. Wu Tang Clan is amazing, isn't it? Wish you guys could see what was on the screen right now. Anyway, fuck it. Let me guys. Since you guys have been so nice to watch this long, the roast or whatever, let me show you what Thailand looks like outside today. Oh, Lord. Can you guys... Yeah, I might as well go outside. Fuck it. Carrying the laptop outside. Oh, boy. Sit, boo boo, sit. Good dog. Got some laundry drying out there, but let's go see how the beautiful country looks today. Ah, Chomburi. Nice weather out there, right? Beautiful skyline. Thailand's truly amazing and beautiful. The land of no money, no honey, but it really won't cost you that much money for the honey. Gotta pay for the honey in every country. Unlike David Banner who says, me, I'm a pimp, I ain't paying for no sex, man, I'd rather buy a car or a new Rolex. Well, sir, hypergamy exists everywhere. Even if the man is the prize, it's like, uh, what you gonna do, playboy? There's a cost of admission and expectation of certain degree. Yeah. I, um, I keep talking that shit, but it is what it is. All right, I'm signing out, people. Peace and hair grease. Thank you for watching the Shimmy Show. Bye. Bye for now.